it's respect. Then, then respect it. Yes. But but whenever it comes to like adding somebody else to the bedroom, if y'all both are not on that same page, y'all shouldn't be in that relationship. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why when on my answer, if that happens, all right, cool. Get that other bitch. I'm gone. You know, like it's just as simple as that. Because and if he can't respect, like if he says that, and I'm like, no, like that's not good. One, you should already know that. That should be a boundary you set at the very beginning of a relationship. Agreed. Saying, Agreed. I don't like this stuff. Don't ask it. If you ask it, I'm going to leave. Let me ask you a question. Would it be fair to say that most men are only as faithful as their options? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That was a good one. I'm not yeah. going to lie. That was... Would it be fair to say that, that yeah. that's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So wouldn't it be foolish for you knowing that fact that most men are only faced with options is to walk away from a relationship where a guy actually likes you? If the next guy's going to do the same shit, wouldn't <laughs> that kind of be foolish? <laughs> there you go. You could think no, about it. Because, no, because... It's... Why not? Go ahead. If the next guy's going to do practically the same thing, why not just deal with the guy that you already know and love? If the next guy's going to do it Because to anyway? me, that's not love. You should only How about want to. Men and women love differently. Cool, then we're different. I'm leaving, one hundred percent. But the next guy's gonna be the same. same and thing. if the next guy's the same, I'm leaving. I'll be single my whole life. Shit. Okay. okay. I don't need. I don't right, need, right. A it's need a it's man. It's all about. You need It's all about. And that's one thing. That's one thing. Men, when 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 men pay your bills, preach. When men think that they, that's how they get their power. Facts. You got to make sure that they don't have that power over, over you. <laughs> because once they do, right. once Queen. they do, you're, you're, you're gone. It's yeah. like you're their property. You're and I, and, and it shouldn't be like that. For we ain't no place. dogs. Right. You're not cows, sure. right? Obey. What? Did you say? <laughs> what? Anyway. Derek, did you have oh, something yeah. that you want to say to that? I saw you oh. laughing. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it, it was just, I'm, I'm happy. Like, that's the best laugh I might have on my birthday. Thank you so much. Hey. Hey. I've seen that in the comments too. So th thank you in the audience. That's very helpful. Um, imagine that, like the, this worldview. And you're 19. I'm not going to pick on you too much. You're 19, mm -hmm. and I think you're very sincere. I think the things you say, you, you sound very sincere. But imagine that, like the idea that, like a man's trying to control me by paying my bills and <laughs> taking care of me and shit, like. No, I didn't say that they're trying to control. That's how did. they think that you they see, have that's power. That's how he gets his power. Yeah, yeah. because it is. Power. It is. It you is. Know, you know, let me tell you. Any woman that spent time with me, if we were, if we were spending, if we were dating, uh, she's not going to have a job. She had a job when I met her. She'll have a job probably, but she's not going to have a job later because I'm not going to ask when I want to take my woman somewhere. I'm not going to ask her. I'm say, hey, we're going. Hey, pack your shit. We're going to Las Vegas tonight. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, pack your shit. We're going to Europe tomorrow. Ooh. I might say it nicely, but you know, hey, pack your stuff. We're going Ooh. to Europe tomorrow. We, oui, we. Oui. I'm down. I'm not having a girl <laughs> say to me, "Hey, I gotta ask my boss." Get the fuck out of here! I gotta ask nigga. my boss <laughs> permission right. to do shit with me. Let's go. All right, so, fuck out of here. Is, is, are you using that power? Is, am I? Am I using that power to like <laughs> take take a woman that I spend a lot of time with, take her around the world with me, to take her to the things that I'd be doing and share my life, to put her in business class next to me? on international jets, to have her in a, a private jet with me. I'm using my power. When she comes back to my, you know, 10,000 plus square foot fucking palace, Ooh. when she's in my fucking palace, Ooh. is that, am I using my power to control her with all that marble? Yeah. <laughs> she's she's chilling. The, million the fucking million and a half dollars yeah. of stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gucci. So, no. I, I mean, I, I, just, I just sound... Uh, Bro. I think a lot of women wish they had these problems. That's all I'm saying. Oh, in my experience, there's plenty of women Bro, who would be what's... happy to sign up for those type of problems. I'm like, that man paid my bills. He bought me a six-figure vehicle. He made sure I didn't have to work. He took care of everything in my life. He made sure my bank account is Yo. fat. Oh, man. Yo, that's exactly... He bought, bought me a fucking huge-ass <laughs> diamond oh. ring bigger than any of my friends could imagine having. Every one of their mm -hmm. friends is jealous as fuck. Bought me a, a dozen luxury handbags. All that power, all that control. Yo, that's what I think. I'm... A lot of women be happy to have that problem. That's I'll that's be been happy. my experience. And then and then the idea. Oh, and I'm sorry to interrupt. And then the idea. Then the idea that that I'm going to go make tens of millions of dollars, which I've already done. Um, and then sometimes I've made more than twenty million dollars a year. Multiple years I've done that. And then the idea that that if I ask a woman, you know, hey. Could you not put that on your Instagram? <laughs> then it would even be a conversation. <laughs> There's no conversation. If I just said, it wouldn't even be a, it wouldn't even come up. It wouldn't even be a thought. 
that there would be something put on an Instagram that it wouldn't be clear that I'd be okay with that shit. Right. It wouldn't even be a thought that that would be posted, let alone an argument. So it just, you, you, you li you're living in an alternate universe where you're either, you're either prohibiting a situation that you would ever have a man that actually did shit, that would be respected by other men, that would be, have access to literally the best shit in the world. You're putting yourself in a situation where, where some of you people are like prohibiting yourself from, you can say, I'm an independent woman. I'm gonna do, you can do whatever you want. But don't pretend there's not consequences to that shit. Mm. Oh, no, there is. But that's where if you're a hardworking Perfect. woman, you can, you know what I mean? I, no, I, you know, there's no, no, a lot no. of people that work hard. I 100% get where you're coming from. I see. See, the only reason you're able Chris, to say that at this I, point I, is because... I hope for your sake, I hope for your sake that you change a couple of those thoughts. It ain't going to hurt my life. It makes no difference to my life. I hope for your future that you change a couple of those thoughts. Because, like, you know, I, I spent nine years in university. I grew up poor. I'm a high school dropout. And, and later on, I made you know, over $60 million. Uh, I spent nine years in universities. I built multiple businesses. Mm -hmm. I've been a successful real estate investor. I've been a successful in, uh, investor in the stock market, et cetera. I helped many other people build businesses. Uh, like many, many, many of my clients have made millions of dollars, plural. Mm -hmm. uh, and then some young girl says, like, I don't need a man. I don't have this and that. I'm not listening to some man. And like, I'm not going to argue with her. I'm just laughing, you know? I'm just like, all right, cool. You you actually, like, last, thing I want, that. last thing on my mind is trying to control the girl. Like the, the controlling things I would tell her to do is like, read this book, you know, help, help right. me with this thing. We're going to make some money together. Yeah. Like you know, come I, to the gym with me, Definitely. go get some dope. Go, go to the grocery store and get me these couple things in any fucking thing you want. Like, go to the mall and get me this thing in any fucking thing you want. Yeah, like if just, I, if I buy my 12th fucking luxury watch for a hundred thousand, you think my girlfriends don't have nice jewelry? Yeah. You think the girlfriends I've had over the years, I didn't buy cars, nice jewelry, nice shit for them? I did. <laughs> but it was a girl that she listened to what I asked, what I told her to do. Not because I was like her, her boss or some demanding person. I was like, if she's going to go do, if I'm going to go work 14 hours a day for decades of my life, mm -hmm. and she's like, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm like, Go do that shit anyplace else. But You're not, not doing right that here. shit with me. He, she's going to do what the fuck I tell her to do. She's going to do it with a smile. She's going to be delighted to do it. And if she's not delighted, somebody else will be delighted yeah. to do exactly that. Because I'm not asking her to do nothing that's going to be bad for her. Right. I'll be asking her to do something that's going to be healthy for her, healthy for her future. We'd both be proud of later. So, But when a guy hears that type of shit, like, uh, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to this and that. Go the fuck. I don't give a fuck if you're a 50-year-old bartender. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what do I give a fuck if you be a 50-year-old bartender? Yeah. But be a fucking forty-five-year-old Uber driver. <laughs> but when I when I hear that shit, it's just like I'm not mad. I'm, I'm like sincerely trying to give you like a couple words of caution. Like if you, that either means as as Myron mentioned, like you've been hanging out with some loser ass dudes and you're making the right decisions so far. Yeah. But when you meet a high quality man that might have really changed your life in more dramatic ways than you could possibly understand right now. You're pushing him away before you ever got to meet him. Yeah, guys, before you got to know him. Guys like that don't negotiate with women. Like we just say, streets. I'm just gonna fuck this girl and never talk to her again. And I don't. I, I would never. I don't even want to fuck her. Or they don't even. Or they don't might, might not even do pussy. that. Yeah. I never wanted to dumb bitches pussy. I don't yeah. even want to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> see, some guys. See, yeah. some guys will be like, "Nah, this girl's annoying." And then other guys will just put her in a sex only category. And I don't think women understand like the gravity of the shit that they do and the shit that they say, how it can impact how a man views them. And then you're putting that sex only category forever. And they're not going to take you seriously. So, you know, it is what it is. And I think the other thing, too, that on an uncomfortable conversation that women need to have with themselves is most of y'all only qualify for an average guy. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot of women don't qualify for these higher status men that they think that they deserve. A lot of y'all are average women and you should probably pair up with an average guy. Fucks. But I think we live Fucks. in a crazy social media world where girls that are fives and sixes have access to dudes that are nines and tens and they might fuck one or two of them and they think these are the type of guys that deserve and the reality is a lot of y'all are very average and deserve Bucks. an average man oh, oh can i Bucks. say something about sure. the average thing there's I, nothing wrong with an average guy yeah, just yeah. you got to understand that you're yeah. gonna have to you might qualify for that and it is what it is not every girl is a princess like y'all think okay um, I, yeah go ahead could i just say that for all the girls that listen when when people say you're average that's not a negative like, I consider myself average. It's not a fucking compliment. Like, it's, but it's not a negative. So why take it as like a negative? Okay, I'm average. What Fox. what must I do to become better than average? Uh, what yeah. must I change? Oh, must I read more? Must I learn this? Must I do this? Since I know I'm average, I'm going to work harder on all you know my other funny? skills. Fox. When I talk to men, 
and I say that they're average, they say, yeah, you're fucking right. I need to improve. When I tell a woman she's average, she bro, it's a fucking you. problem. It's an yeah. insult. I'm a 10. I tell a woman she's average. Yeah, I'm a 10. But I would I... argue most women are definitely average because the things that we measure you guys on is your looks. And most yep. of y'all, unfortunately, are average looking by default. Well, so, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, what the definition tools. of the word average, right? Because yeah. most people are going to fall into that. But every girl human. thinks that she's a princess or that she's like beautiful in her Ten. own way or some other cl cockamania clown shit. Like women inherently think that they're uh, special. And I think that's actually very destructive because it makes you think that you qualify for more than you really do. Another thing for average women is work harder on other things if you do want to qualify for high value. Uh, I agree point. with exactly what she says. Like I, I know on looks alone, I do not qualify. But because I'm funny, <laughs> I'm smart, I'm agreeable, I'm submissive. I qualify Psycho. for high value men <laughs> yeah. because of that. But other than that, I can't compete any at, on any other playing field. Bucks. I mean, but, but you know what? I'll give you uh, a thumbs up for like acknowledging um, your fuck up. I mean, the fact that you lost him a hundred million dollars, he's still talking to you is a fucking miracle in itself, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I I absolutely agree. I've done so many, I made so many mistakes. Like how these girls are talking, like, oh, I'm independent. I'll do what I want. That was me. That mm. was literally me. And now I look back, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Would you we say feminism don't... is a lie? It's the biggest lie to oh, destroy shit. women and families. It's the, it's the establishment wanting to get our tax dollars so then they can benefit and destroy our families. It's really, that's really is it. Like, I was like, oh, I'm this independent. I want to do this and this. Mm. I ran business. I made my first million. When, when did I you was come 21. to this realization that feminism was a lie? How old were you when you came to that? Uh, Kevin yes. Samuels. <laughs> well, how old? Oh, so what, like two years ago? <laughs> like two and a half years ago, yes. For, like, okay, so you were 41. Okay, but no, when I was 37, 38, after I separated from my ex husband, yeah. I met a man on the island of Hawaii that was just like three, four times like crazier than my ex husband. And I met him crazier too. in what regard, like um, sanity wise, um, no crazy money wise, financially and connection. Like he's connected to oh, like okay. real life, like movers Hawaii. and shakers, like um, yeah. thousands of acres and all that. So I met him and he was interested in building a relationship with me. And when he w kept on dogging my friends, he kept on saying, she's a single mom. She ain't have no, she, she doesn't have this and this. And I'm like, wait, I'm a single mom too. <laughs> Like, why are you dogging her? And this is when he made me realize. He go, honey, you were married to your husband. You were married to him for what? We were together for 10 years and you have three kids by one man. Mm -hmm. These two ladies, they have two kids by two different men that they were never married to. Yeah. That's a huge difference. And I, I didn't understand that. That was the first time I saw it from a um, different M perspective. Male that, perspective. Yeah, that made me realize like, what? That mattered? Yeah, and then that's when I realized, started digging more, and that's when I found Kevin Samuels. In the I have a saying that a lot of girls get mad at me for saying, but I typically say women start to mature once they stop getting the same sexual attention from men, and they realize that feminism feminism is a lie. And I make the joke all the time: a girl becomes mature when she starts paying for her own drinks at the bar. That's when the the wall is set in, and she's not able to kind of glide on her looks. And I think, and I don't want to use you as an example, but what mm -hmm. I've come to realize from girls that typically tell me feminism was a lie they're always like in their 30s or older mm -hmm. it's never 40s. when they're in their 20s a lot of the time yes yes they, because when they say if you're um a conservative under 30 you have no heart but if you're a liberal after 30 you have no brain so if you actually think about it you know what i mean when we're younger we're can you say we're, that one more time for people <laughs> okay if you're a conservative before you're 30 you have no heart but right. if you're a liberal after you're 30, you have no brain. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. I was a big time libtard. Like Bucks. I was, I was one, I was one of those girls. And it, it, it really changed me when I realized that, you know, we don't hold ourselves accountable for anything. Anyway. Yeah, but, all so. right. Uh, what about you two ladies here? Just I mean, you guys are young and you guys kind of believe in this feminism and the independent. Do you guys have a response to that? You guys agree, disagree? I see where she's coming from. Like she, it's, it sounds wrong to say, but I feel like she, it's more easier to listen to her because she sees both sides. She's older and it's not just a man like, okay, well this, 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 and this. Like it's easier hearing it from a woman than it is a man. And it may be because my pride. Yeah. But like yeah. it, it did come easier listening. Well, I've noticed that you just her. have an issue with male authority in general. Oh, it's, I do. Yeah. I had that too. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing too, is that like, 
I'll be blunt, extremely blunt here. You've probably dated only lower status men. Or if you did maybe meet one guy, maybe you had him for a night or whatever that had his shit together. But what I've realized is that women that typically have a problem with male authority haven't met the right guys. Because yeah. typically when you're with a guy that has a shit together and asserts that authority over you, you come to respect it. Mm -hmm. But if you deal with guys that aren't competent, et cetera, and they try to tell you what to do, that could be very frustrating as a woman. And I trust me, I'm sensitive to that. I, mm -hmm. I completely agree with Derek. We talked about this. Most guys are incompetent losers. That's yeah. true. And don't deserve to be respected and or be obeyed. But what I am saying is that it doesn't help that women in general don't respect male authority. But it, it doesn't make it. It starts help. In, the, in the home, though, yeah. with, with the father. Is your father in, in your life? Mm -hmm. yeah, See, it starts there. Yeah. I'm breathing to later on in life. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is why you, my, are important. I just want to chime in <clears throat> on yeah. that. My name is brought up. It's like I, I mentioned this earlier, and I reiterate that, you know, the majority of men don't deserve to be respected by women or other men. They're not doing shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. fifty yeah. percent are below average by definition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, should should you listen to that guy's guidance or management? Hell no. Hell no. But if you're gonna be, and I I I don't see this independent women thing is I don't see them as like the happiest women in the world that they're in their forties and fifties and supporting themselves. 